Hey Aries, welcome to the new moon in Scorpio. This new moon is taking place in your seventh house, the one that is completely opposite to your nature. As a first house person, partnerships are just uh, intrinsically dehabilitating. So what this new moon is specifically about is your partnerships. And it's asking you to select partnerships which will put you into an advantageous position. Right? So think back, October, we were asked to examine who we are in the world, what it is that we're trying to bring into the world, how we're going about it, but, like, but when we die, what is the result of us? When we encounter people, how are they different because of us? Like, what are you trying to do? Who are you? What are you about? Then mid-October, we were asked to discern between what is illusion and what is clear, because you can't build unless something is clear. So the people around you, the ideas around you, the deception around you, the, eh, the gray area around you, mm, none of that will do. Everybody has to be on board with what you're doing if you're going to get where you're going. And anybody who's not moving in the same direction as you is pulling you back. So as an Aries, as the warrior type, as one who pushes forward, you know what that feels like. And you know what even the slightest tug of something feels like when somebody's holding you back. It can be even the words that they use. It can be the tone of voice. It, but you know what that drag feels like. So this new moon takes place in two different signs. So the nakshatra begins in Libra and then ends in Scorpio. So Libra is like the... Um, Libra's like the party, so you see what food they have available. You get to know everybody, you go chit chat for a few minutes, you take inventory, and that's what you've been doing. You've been seeing what everyone's about, you've been looking at the people around you, you've been taking inventory. Now, the scorpionic element, this is the part you like, you cut out the ones who are no good for you. You cut out the ones who will not be useful to the endeavors that you are going to do now. Wherever you are headed, Unless somebody is actively helping you, they're hindering you. This is a viewpoint that is counter to convention. This is a viewpoint that is counter to a society that wishes you to accumulate things, people, followers, admirers. This principle works the opposite way. The best way forward is elimination. The only thing that you are asked to accumulate now is somebody who will help you advance. And this somebody needs to have the qualities and the characteristics that you don't already have because you already have them. You are already skilled in your area of expertise. So again, we're having a look at who we are in the world, where we want to go, and then specifically selecting partners that are advantageous to that.